I started volunteering when I was about 14. I started as a very young seven-year-old. In my early 20s. I was 14 years old. I started volunteering on a summer play scheme with uh, children who have disabilities. Well, I started off working for a community development trust in Luton as a young advisor. For the Girls Brigade as a young leader. I also um, volunteered for Oxfam at the music festivals throughout the summer, which was great. A teacher at school, her mum volunteered at a local um, old, like, old people home and said I should come along. And I thought, well, I've got nothing to lose, you know, don't do anything. Um, and I found it was a fantastic opportunity. I met loads of interesting people, loads of counters. I could speak to them, they were one listening to listen to me and I was to listen to them. Before I started volunteering, I didn't really have any kind of vision for where I wanted to go career-wise. I didn't actually have that much interest in having a job either. But through my volunteering and the kind of inspirational people that I met, it, um, I think I got quite excited about the idea of having a career. I met lots of, lots of people and I've been to lots of places. Um, which I probably would never have gone before. That sort of led towards me going to university to study youth work. Having had, already had four or five years experience, volunteering is what gave me the edge and got my place when maybe I was too young really. I volunteered on a number of occasions and they've all actually led to me getting employment, all of them. It set me up a long career path. I've now been in my job for 10 years and, and are encouraging more and more young people every year. It just it opens your eyes, it gives you experience. I think my confidence has definitely grown. I mean, when I started volunteering, I was 14 and I was nervous, I was shaking, I was um, a shy, shy boy. And I had to actually go out from the, class, uh, from the room to take a deep breath and have a drink because I was so nervous. And now I'm here talking to the camera. So I think it's, I've come a long I'm way. I'm really lucky. I, through the volunteering, I got, to do, I got to learn skills that you would never learn anywhere else. Um, leadership skills, communication skills. I got to work with people from all sorts of different economic and ethnic backgrounds. It's kind of hard to sit here and say in a couple of minutes what you've got from it because, you know, at Bamber Youth Centre, for me, every week, you know, you're doing new stuff. It was a new skill you had never done before. Going out there and getting a job, it, it's, it's not easy. It's, uh, it's, it's tough. Everybody these days seems to get brilliant exam results. Everybody's doing really well. Universities are looking for somebody who's done something that little bit out of the ordinary. It's the same with employers. Everybody's CV reads really well. They're looking for somebody who's done that little bit extra. All the opportunities I had from doing the volunteering, would, I never would have had. Yeah, them opportunities were never open. To me before. It opens doors that they couldn't otherwise get. So, so many jobs want you to have experience before you get there, but nowhere will offer you the experience. It allows the community to, to see young people in a more positive light. I think there's still a little bit of negative media perception around young people, and the fact if the community can see them out there getting involved, doing something positive, it's a really, really good thing for them to do.